to another edition of Professor Hockey. Dan Weiss here at the AT&T Center, and I'm joined by Rampage defenseman David Schlemko. And today, for all you young defensemen, we're going to talk about the role of jumping into the rush and jumping into the play. And Dave is certainly one of those guys who likes to get his points as, uh, in addition to being a defenseman, and he's going to explain kind of the finer points. Dave, talk a little bit about, you know, the decision-making process when you decide that uh, it's the appropriate time to jump into a rush when you know that your first responsibility is in your own end as a defenseman? Well, basically, uh, you just want to beat the other team's forwards back up the ice to create an odd man rush and uh, a scoring chance. Is it better sometimes when you see those forwards kind of get trapped along the boards that you kind of, in your head, see an opening and you just kind of take off? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, anytime you can kind of be the late guy in the rush and, uh, you know, that, for that forward with the puck will maybe stop on the wall and do a delay. And you should be the kind of the second wave coming in uh, looking for, for the puck to get a shot. When you're jumping into the rush, once you've committed, is there a time where you realize in your head kind of where you keep going and a time where you realize you need to back off? Yeah, I mean... I guess it's uh, kind of different with uh, whatever coach you have. I know uh, the Rays are running the D on the back end there. He wants you to kind of get in and get out, get in there. You know, if you got a chance, if you got a shot, you see a p loose puck in there, you can create a scoring chance, get in. But uh, like you said, our first responsibility is uh, defense, so we got to get, get in and get out.